Hey, it's Cody. Um, first, I want to say, I know this looks very, very different from uh, the last video you may or may not have watched of Crafting with Cody. The reason why is because for reasons that were out of my control that had to be done, um, basically I had to restart my entire Minecraft game. All of my saves are gone, everything's gone, so I'm literally building back from the ground up of everything that I had. So yeah, so we're, we're back into the world. Uh, this is Crafting with Cody 2.0, I guess. I'm just keeping crafting with Cody. But yeah, long story short, uh, you know, these are gonna be around 10 minutes. I'm gonna really, I'm really wanna keep these at 10 minutes point on, but I'm no magician. Well, I can edit. Stop talking, Cody. So, uh, the topics I'm gonna talk about now, uh, first, but not first, I don't know what order they're, order they're gonna be in, but, what was the internet one? Yes. Uh, apparently, yeah, YouTube, or James Corden, the Late Late Show, did uh, this this collab, I guess, with YouTube. Collaboration, for those of you who don't know. And it made me realize the, uh, how much, not how much I hate, but one thing I truly dislike and disdain about TV talk show hosts. Like day and nighttime TV talk show hosts, is I hate how much they compromise and literally sell out um, to to you know pander to the audience, pander to their uh, corporate leaders and everything. Don't get me wrong, I get it. it's your job, but there've been so many times when it's like, yeah, you have to pretend and say that this was amazing and that you loved it that you highly recommend it, even if it was a piece of crap. You know, like, I can't even count how many um, interviews I've seen before the Fantastic Four movie of these guys, of, you know, these talk show hosts who saw it, and it was like, it's really great, it's this, it's that, it's, you should go see it, and then they always try to upsell it as if, you know, like, you know, as if it's, uh, you're ordering a burger at a restaurant. You should go see this movie, but definitely go see it in IMAX theaters and blah, blah, blah. Like, come, really, really. It's like they try to promote every single sponsor in every sentence. You know, it's, it's so annoying. And it, and it really popped out on the James Corden YouTube uh, special, or whatever you want to call it. Like you can see, he was. It was just sad. And then, um, two two people, or well, three people, I guess, uh, that were there that really had no reason to to actually be there, except for you know, um, money, sponsorship, and you know, ratings. Uh, the slow mo guys from YouTube, they were there for one thing, and that was it. They showed up, they blew up a watermelon, never saw them again. You know, it was it was like uh then Rebecca Black was there to sing like a part of her song Friday, and that was it. For some reason, you know, it was like, yeah, you can hang out and sit in a chair or something. But that's all we needed you for. And this is stuff like that really upsets me. That's all. Just oh, uh, I mean that that's the main reason why I've always hated, and I'm gonna try my absolute best to never, ever work in fast food again. Because I hate compromising myself and who I am and my beliefs, I guess, in order to please people. But that's a job, period. You know, I mean, any job is for people and to please people because that's how you get money. But it, it's, it has to be to a certain extent. There's only so far you have, you have to be willing to go before it's like. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Next thing I want to talk about, because that kind of got deep. Uh, this Nicki Minaj wax uh, figure, fi why well, say figurine, wax figure or wax statue? What? The, apparently they're going to take it down or move it somewhere else or possibly change it. Because, of course, since she's on all fours, 
and dressed of well the wax figure wax figure stop saying figurine is dressed you know as she was in her anaconda video on all fours and of course what do you think was going to happen of course at first it's all like oh this is nice it's kind of cute but then after a while it's like yeah the pervs are going to come they're going to get behind her like they're actually doing doggy style of Nicki Minaj, like the guy did. They're going to be spanking it, licking it, touching it, taking very, very inappropriate pictures. Of course that was going to happen. I mean, that's... What? I mean, that's like giving a monkey a banana and expecting him not to shove it up somebody's ass. Terrible analogy, but it's true. Sad true. And it's just, it's just so stupid, people, so stupid, but predictable. You know, that's the one thing about the human race that I'm surprised we haven't caught on to or done anything about. That we're outrageously, unbelievably stupid and ignorant and childish, but we're predictable. You know, we're always going to be like this. We always have. And that's the one thing that hasn't changed. There have been a lot of advances in certain areas. But aside from that, we're still stupid, stupid people. So, something, something's going to have to give. And I need to dig somewhere before the sun goes down. Oh, yeah, that's that's something. Oh, wait, why am I? I'm on six minutes. Okay, i got plenty of time. Uh, what was the last thing I wanted to talk about? Excuse me, I think about it because it's something that was on. Internet thing. Oh yeah, these nuts. <laughs> I can't forget. Oh god, it's it's that's the funniest fucking thing I think I've like America has ever produced. These nuts. I mean, it's so funny. Okay. For those of you who don't know, you should by now, because it's been out for a couple of days, and I'm late to to the train. But um, I think North Carolina or South Carolina, somewhere in Carolina, uh, this 50 year old kid filled out uh whatever presidential application that's needed to be filled out. And I need some food, but that's what happens. Yeah, he filled out whatever presidential uh thing that needs to be filled out, and he entered his name as D's nuts. And apparently, that's all you really need. Like, he, they didn't ask for his age or proof of his age. Uh, which, you know, when I was going to school, I thought that was kind of a thing that you had to be a certain age from America and all that. But yeah, he made an account or whatever it was, D's nuts, and he's 9% in um, the, the, the polls of voting or whatever the fuck it is in Carolina. 9%. Nine percent. That that's at least everybody he knows. So I really hope this catches on. I really hope this catches fire, and I want to blow the fuck up. Why? Because it one hundred percent proves. I mean, don't get me wrong. Donald Trump, he's like fifty percent there of proving how pointless and stupid this uh this whole electoral government issue thing is. Because, I mean, these these traditions have been around uh, at least since the 30s, you know, of how just stupid things are and how stupid people are. And that, that's kind of what this whole thing revolves around, I guess, this episode, if you want to call it that. I am that people are stupid. I mean, Donald Trump should not be anywhere near as high as he is uh, in his percentage. He really shouldn't. Like he, if 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 you know if people are as righteous and as good and whatever the fuck else as we say we are, he should be that nine percent, and these nuts shouldn't be on that at all. But it really just proves how, just how sad we are as a nation that shit like this is just slide by that we don't have the proper rules and regulations in place to deal with this. You know, it's it's really, really fucking sad. And it is awfully dark. I should go make some uh torches. And you know, it's just it's it's uh what was the other point that I wanted to make? 
not only how stupid it is and how sad it is, but yeah, that these traditions and these rules they were set in a time that wasn't uh, for open mindedness, that wasn't for people looking to try to make a change. You know, it wasn't for uh, the way America is now. You know, like there, there wasn't supposed to be women voting or women in any position of power. It wasn't supposed to be black people in any other um, f- facilitating manner than, you know, you work for me. That's it. It wasn't supposed to be uh, gay people can do this and do that now and they can get together and get married. We wasn't supposed to be legal. You know, these rules were set up for very close minded white men it was and it still is and of course things are changing thankfully they're taking too long as always but yeah that that's the that's the that's our rule system that's how our stuff was put to place for those white men who some are still alive still at the top of the top and once they die off and our generation finally gets up there, then things are starting to change. Then women are starting uh, to get paid equally and treated right and everyone will be okay. It's going to take some time. We're going to be long. I'm going to be long dead before any of that happens. I don't know about you. And yeah, it's, it's just sad and I'm pretty sure I got past the 10 minute mark by right now. Up to eleven, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video short here because, like I said, I want to keep around ten minutes. But long story short, it's just it's just so sad that uh, our rules are set in place like that, you know. And last thing I want to say that was honestly on my mind is I don't like it when it becomes a big deal when they are. Me, women who finally get into positions of power when they're the first woman to do this or when it's a black person first black person to do this or the first gay couple or the first lesbian or you know anything like that I, I don't like that and not because I'm like a bigot or racist or sexist I don't like it because it shouldn't be a big thing that should be a normal thing for other people to advance I mean they, it, it's never, you know, the first white person to do this or that, is it? No. It wasn't the first white man to make it to the moon. I mean, that wasn't a big deal. It was people, the human race, made it to the moon. I mean, when the first um, black person got up there, yeah, it was a big deal. But it shouldn't be. It should never be. You know? Like, and that's why I don't like it. Because people make a big deal of something that should not be a big deal. We should all just be advancing anyway. Not the, uh, like like the biggest thing, and I know I'm going way over ten minutes, but just indulge me. My biggest thing, I'm still never going to let it go because it bugs me the most out of all things that has happened in America over the past couple of years, is that the women's ski jumping team had to go to courts at least two times in order to get recognized as an Olympic team to get to the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. What, what, what angry, bitter, bigot, sexist, old white man was the one who said, because it it was said, that that women should not do this because their bodies aren't meant for it or something like that? Excuse me? Really? Really? Well, this is a, I mean, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not trying to shit on ski jumping at all. It's hard. I could never do it. I know it takes training, discipline, and um, it's awesome that people do it. But it's ski jumping. What makes you feel that this, you know, this is for men? And it's, some, and it's all the things like that. Like, it's, it's really hard to believe how not advanced we are in a lot of uh, social ways. Like medicine, education, technology, whatever. But socially, we are so far behind. 
so far behind a lot of other countries. But anyway, uh, that's the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.